Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have quite a bit of tarantulas in here and that is because I am going to be doing my entire tarantula collection tour for April 2019. Last year I did an entire collection tour in April. I still have everything I showed in that video and a lot more. So we're gonna go through everything and you'll see how some slings have grown a lot. I figured it would be good to start with my slings and dwarf species first. So that is what this all is. And then we will move on to the adults and juveniles after I show you these guys. I have no specific order. Um, there's quite a mix here. I have old worlds and I have new worlds and it's just a lot. So um, I guess We'll go ahead and start right here. So this is my P. Machala. And I don't remember if this one's featured in last year's, but it has certainly grown quite a bit since I picked it up. Let me see if I can pop the lid off. Ah, oh, gone. Under that we have my Saracopilma rubronite. Rubenitans. Rubenitans. So this was also a pretty small sling and now it has grown a considerable amount. And then this is my mature male pumpkin patch. Alright, these are my really little slings. My Brachypoma verdesi. I don't think we're... Oh, there, there we are. Here is my Aphonopoma samani also grown quite a bit. And my Brachypilma sabulosum, right? They're also grown quite a bit and looking good. So that's great. I love when they get out of that teeny tiny phase. It makes me so nervous when they're so small, which I do have a very small one right now I can show you so you know what I'm talking about. Look how little this guy is. This is my new Brachypilma Amelia. Ooh. I'm so clumsy, but so are they when they're so tiny. It's okay though, slings basically bounce. Okay, now we're moving on to some slings that I have had for quite a while. This is Nyx, and she was my second tarantula, and she was super tiny too. She's grown so much. These two I got in November of 2017 as slings. So as you'll see, here is one. And the other is right down there, hiding. So these two are actually uh, sack mates, and these are Brachypilma albopolosums, if I didn't say that. Let's just grab whatever's next. This is my D. diamantinensis, I believe that's how you say it, or the Blue Dwarf Beauty. So yeah, this is actually a dwarf species. I wouldn't really consider this a sling anymore, but as you see, uh, it still is about the size of a sling. And here is a P. Um Oh, there we are. Okay, well, we are out here. So this is my... Oh! Why do they always do that? This is my NNC olive form, which you can't really see. Let me get a good butt shot, though. Here is my Lazadora Parabana. Um, hasn't grown, has not grown like at all. <laughs> it looks like it'll molt soon though. Another really cool dwarf species, this is my C. elegans, and I also wouldn't consider her a sling, but she's quite small. L. striatopes, this is a confirmed female. She is gorgeous. Oh, and here is a little one that you guys just saw. I just picked this one up at the expo, the tarantula takeover one. As you see, I've given her a really cool little home. Oh, but there she is. This is my Carabina Leda. Hopefully this is ideal and she thrives in it. And then here is my Carabina Versicolor. Now this is obviously <laughs> a favorite in the hobby. This one's really special. I actually got this one from Tom Patterson. What a good shot. 
<laughs> and you see she's webbing up too. For another tiny avic, here is my avicularia gerensis morph 2. Nope, morph 1. This is a pecan bridge eye. This is a sling that was gifted to me from Greg Rice. He handed me this at the Tarantula Takeover show, so I really appreciate that. And I also have two more P. Cambridge eyes. So this one is right there, and it's a little bit hard to see. Um, and then look at the leg span on this. It has grown so much. It is so beautiful. I definitely am suspecting female for this girl. This, where are you? Oh, there we are. This is a pea pulcher, and uh, this was given to me from Ruth at Mostly Reptiles as a freebie. And I also was given one recently by Bobby Bowman from Eight Legged Puppies at the Tarantula Takeover show. Let's jump to my homeoma species blue while it's out. Um, as you guys know, I recently got this one, and it disappeared. I didn't see it for weeks. But as you see, it looks quite bigger from the video when we got it last time. So it has most definitely molted, which is perfect because this enclosure, I felt like it was a little too big. Now it's perfect, so very good. Um, back to cool arboreal species. This is my Iridopilma hirsutum, and this was a gift to me from Amy and Quinn over at the Tarantula Community. This is one of their babies. And oh my goodness, it is so cute and it has grown so much. This thing was so tiny and fragile when I got it and look at it now. All right, we got some Grandma Stolas really quick and you guys know Grandma Stola is my favorite genus. So we got Grandma Stola Grossa. This is my Grandma Stola Actian. And there's my Grandma Stola Iherini. So as you see, they are both Grandma Stolas with red rumps and they look very similar to each other. I think all we have left now is my old worlds. Yep, so let's quickly go through these and then we'll be on to the juveniles uh, and the adults. So this is my P. Vitata. Um, definitely a really great one to have in my collection. Look at the size of it. We've grown so much, which is amazing. This is a species that I really debated getting and I am so glad that I did. Uh, get receive one as a gift. Following that, we've got my P. regalis. This is uh, my first pokey ever, and I don't know if you guys remember how small it was, but look at the size now. Oh, it, it doesn't like the light, but it has grown a considerable amount. It's crazy how quickly they do that. I'm going to try to, oh, of course, of course, as soon as we grab it, it's gone. <laughs> But that is my P. metallica right down there. You can see some blue legs, and this is one of my favorite tarantulas right now. I just, I absolutely adore this one. Right here, this is something you guys ask about all the time. It is my OBT, or P. muranus, and uh, this, yep, gone. Absolutely gone. Just like that. It is so flighty, I just never get a good shot of it. That's why you don't really see it. I don't have really any good photographs of it either. It's just nearly impossible, but it has grown a lot. This is my H. Pulcropes, and oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. I don't know if we'll be able to get a better shot. It is quite skittish, but I'll certainly try for you. Nope, 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 nope. This one is one that you guys have not seen in a while. This is my C. Hoggy. This is the Malaysian Purple Femur. I really enjoy what it's done. So that is all of my slings right now. I hope you guys like this part and let's go ahead and get to the adults now. The next day. Alright, and now we are going to move on to all the juveniles and the adult tarantulas that I have in my collection. So let's just get started. So a lot of you guys know that this is actually one of my favorite tarantulas. It's my Afonopilma hensi. And these are actually native to my state. So it's very cool to have her in my collection that is a female. This is another 
United States native tarantula. This is an Aphonopelma ulitum. Common name is California ebony, and they are really cool. They are this black color when they are juveniles, but they turn into like more of a brownish as they grow. Okay, so um, this guy is a really great tarantula. This is my first tarantula. Oh, 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 we don't want to go on a journey, do we? Here he is. He's been mature for, oh, 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 he's trying to kick hair. Don't do that. You don't have much hair. Yeah, he's he was my first tarantula, and he's been mature for like two years now. Here is another favorite in the collection. This is Salem, my grandma stole a pulchra. He's quite feisty for a grandma stole a pulchra, but goodness, look how beautiful he is. He is just one of my absolute favorites. I can't get enough of him. Now this girl is famous now because she's the uh, flying brachypoma vegans that made an appearance in my feeding video with Petco. So um, yeah, she is very much in need of a rehousing soon. We'll be doing that eventually, but um, it, I can... I know her enclosure looks like it's just dirt and uh, there's no hide, but she used to stay under this piece of cork bark. There is actually a piece of cork bark in here, and she used to be under it like all the time. Now that she's bigger, she's a lot less shy, and I think that she would do better, obviously, in a bigger enclosure with more substrate. Oh, we have a molt! Wonderful! I don't know if we're going to be able to get him out. Well, I'm assuming it's a him, but maybe we'll be able to tell. So it, he is not mature if it is a male, but I am wondering if we could explore a little bit, pull that molt. Um, I'll tell you what, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go check me out. It's at tarantula.cat. I'll post a photograph of the molt and we'll find out if it's a male or female. Okay, so that's all these and we have quite a bit more. I'm going to start grabbing them and we'll meet right back here in just one moment. Okay, let's go ahead and start right here. This is my male Brachypilma vegans. He's going to be the boyfriend for the female you guys just saw. This is a girl you guys have seen quite often. Hopefully we will be able to pair her soon. It hasn't really been working out, but I think she is getting close to pre-molt, so it might not happen. She's an Aphonopelma calcodes female, and we'll see her boyfriend later. And here is my E. Moranus. It is a female. Unfortunately, I think that's all we're going to see of her, but I'll insert a photograph. Alright, so we have one, two, three Aphonopelma samanis. As you see, this guy is so blue. So this is hopefully going to be the father to some sacks from these two ladies I have over here. Now, if you remember her, she's the one who had a really bad molt. And look how amazing she's doing now. I, I did think it was a wet molt. I still think that's possible. But she's began to walk normally again. She's doing really well, eating really well. Her abdomen still looks really weird, but other than that, she is really doing well. Originally, I wasn't going to try pairing her because of that, but I think if she has another molt and it goes well, we can talk about it once he matures. <laughs> Mavis. She's trying to go on an adventure. But yeah, this is a confirmed female Grimmastola Porteri. Can I get you to go back in? Get down, please. No, no, no. Get down. No, no, no. Sorry, I just don't want you to get out. We have, oh, my uh, super curly, curly hair. 
right here. This is a Brachypilma albopolosum. And all we are going to see, I think, today is the butt. This is uh, the Sea Marshali. Now, they are old world, so their venom is a little bit more potent, and they are supposed to be more defensive. However, fortunately, mine have been generally pretty calm, so very cool. This one has a straight horn on its head. I don't know if you can see it as well, but there it is right there on top of its carapace. I don't know if I'll be able... Oh, 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 she's going to run back inside. Let me just pop this really quick. There you go. Get a glance of her, uh, her little bum back there. But yeah, she is a sea darlini, so she also has a horn. However, it is the rear horn. It's facing back. So I think that's all from that section. We have another section right up here we're going to do, and then a few more over there. Oh, and we have those two way up high. <laughs> This next section, I literally just filmed it and then I realized I was not recording, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said earlier, we have another Grandma Stola Pulchra. This is my younger male and he's the one who recently molted. There he is, uh, hiding out in his little pot. My mature male A. Calcodes, right there. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a mold outbreak in this one's enclosure recently. This is my emerald skeleton. And as you see, the bol uh, the burrow that he has dug is really cool, and it's very similar to the one he already had. Very shy species. Alright, this guy's pretty skittish, so I don't think we're going to be able to remove the whole lid, but... There he is. It is my Nandu Chromatis, and this is a male, not mature yet. Right here is a really cool species. This is my H. chiliensis. And, oh, you guys see her a lot. There she goes. This is my Brachypilma Kallenbergi, mature male, not female. I bought him as a female and then he matured into a male so I'm still a little depressed about that and no I don't have a female for him and this is my K Brunapes I did a whole collab about this species with a few other youtubers so if you haven't seen it before I will link it down below all right so that's it for this section we still have another it's like six more I, I have six more adult female Ugh. okay so now we have a few more over here this is my avicularia avicularia this is a female also known as the pink toe this one is a favorite for sure this is my female green bottle blue and she has certainly grown quite a bit since I got her she was actually one of the first tarantulas I ever bought from Ruth at Mostly Reptiles and just look at how beautiful she is now I have a whole collab about this species as well on my channel that I did with a few others um, definitely check it out if you haven't Oh, it looks like we are going to be hiding. She's actually right back there. I don't want to disturb her too much, but this is my 14-year-old H. chiliensis. You can see some feet here. But I post her on my Instagram a lot, so you can go see better photographs of her there. Okay, so this is a cool one that you guys don't really see often. This is my P. reduncus. I believe this is a male. Very cool species. I really was a little uh, bummed out when I realized he was male, but very cool nonetheless. And look at this. Look at this, like, tunnel. Great. So this girl I have not seen in a while. I suspect that she's molted. Uh, this is my E. Campistratus or the Pink Zebra Beauty. Now let's see what we have going on in here. 
So I see her there. But I don't see any molt, which is a little bit surprising. Hmm. You guys know what this amazing piece of history is? Yeah, this is Rob C's straw, his feeding straw. So check that out. Yes, he did give it to me, and I did notice that it is cracking right here. It is a very old piece of history, so I don't really use it for anything, but I thought maybe we can poke this girl out with it. This is one of those special occasions. Will Rob C's magic straw work? Oh, she bit it! Wow, that's irony. <laughs> yeah, come get it, come get it. Oh, oh, we kind of saw her. Okay, well that's good. I feel a little bit better now <laughs> that we at least got a glance of her. All right, so this is actually my female Grandma Stola Polker peas. And then right over here, hiding is my male Grandma Stola Polker peas. So. That is who I will be pairing her with, and should be really fun. <laughs> Hopefully this works out better than the Calcodes has been going. I don't know if we are going to be able to see much of this one, but right down there, I think I see some feet. I guess it's gone, but this is my big P regalis. We, uh, we are very antisocial. Like any sort of light, I'm pretty sure that the light made him bolt or any sort of movement will actually just make him vanish. So unfortunately, I guess I'll just have to insert a photograph of him somewhere so you can see what he looks like. But yeah, I think that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I believe that is everything. As of now, um, I do have some more new additions coming, um, but yeah, so, huh, hope you guys enjoyed. This was really fun and very tedious to make. I'm sorry it took so long. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there and stay tuned because I have much more planned for you guys and we will do some more fun things and stuff. So yeah, okay, that's all. Okay, I'll stop.